Welcome back to Westwood, the place where I tried to show, I guess, a couple of con concepts simply. I didn't want to break rule. I didn't go, I wanted to get very deep into it because, well, back then eh, there was a big confrontation about the game being broken. And anybody who said otherwise, well, yeah. <laughs> so anyways, for anybody who was willing to listen, I showed you how to make termination roads or pretty much showed you with this that lanes are a thing that it's not just for vehicles to go to they lead to destinations just like in real life they lead to destinations though you may be eh, not so attuned to it the other thing I showed you how to do was that adding nodes to roads can stop that ugly annoying thing of them stopping turning 90 degrees and jumping across a whole bunch of lanes right if you add enough nodes they'll do they'll change lanes one at a time and they're quite happy doing it right will you guys do it there we go they're even using two different sets of nodes to do things with. That. The other thing I wanted to show you is uh, another thing that I discovered. A certain type of priority road. Now I don't play with the... What is it? I don't think I've ever ever used this. Ever. But when you do, right? Priority road. Like, eh, I don't quite understand this concept. <laughs> but a long time ago, I had accidentally created that intersection. And I don't mean here. I accidentally created it on a flat piece of road. And it took me forever to duplicate it. But ever since then, I've been trying to figure out where would I use it again. And it was this. Right? See how there's traffic lights on three sides, but the last side, it doesn't? Even over here. Two lane roads. And I've got the same thing going on. Here, I mean, you can both, you can see them in both times. The road is being elevated. Right? The trick is this length of road between the elevation and the intersection. Right? If this elevator road is just connected to that intersection, it doesn't work out so well. Right? Like if you forever, when I tried to do this, this is what I would get. Traffic lights on all three until I figured out what was the magic trick. The magic trick was the stub that you used to leave the intersection has to be between four and five lengths long. Three, it won't work. Six, it won't work. It'll put a, a, a traffic light there. But if you use four or five and create a node, right there it'll forego the street light traffic light as you can see here there's no traffic light on that one no traffic light on that one no traffic light on that one but on that one there is a traffic light so I'm going to show you how to do this and hopefully it'll be quick and painless. <laughs> let's begin. So let's pull down a six lane and I'll show you what I mean. Straight line, let's get everything all set so I'm not all thumbs. There, I think I could use that. Okay, so put the six lane down. Okay, let's just, should we do it from that side? I guess it doesn't really matter. So, 
we're going to put all the pieces in first and show you how it doesn't work. <laughs> right? So I'll put the straight one in, then we'll do the right side, and I'm using straight lines. Right? To, so that I can stay as close as I can. Turn them around so that they're actually doing something that they'll understand. And there we go. We've got traffic lights on all three. Right? Okay. So. Break the center one out. You could put it in first, but uh, for, dram for dramatic purposes, meh. Now, if I draw a piece, it won't even let me do three, four. Okay, I can go four, five. Let's go six. Let's put put the node there just to show you how it doesn't work. Probably going to be wrong. Flip that around. Yep, we got our traffic light. But if you reduce this piece to five length, or four. Four length. It still does it. <laughs> but if you elevate this, right, and we'll just go three meters, just one click. You can go three, you can go six, you can do anything. Turn it so it's heading the right way. And there you go. The traffic light is gone. Mind you, we got quite a slope on that, eh? Jeepers. Well, they don't usually look that ugly. Maybe I could have made that maybe five. Maybe I could have leveled that out. Huh. Either way, three's no good. Four units long, five units long is good. Six is no good. You need to elevate them. You're not gonna use them everywhere, but if you wanted, wanted to know how that's done, there you go. Ciao for now, have fun. You know, before I go, perhaps I should show you why I did this in the first place. Why I used such a weird intersection. Because I got a lot of pushback on this a year ago. You know, people said this was unnecessary, you didn't need to do this, this doesn't work, all you need is traffic manager. <laughs> yeah. It's the only thing that would work. See, once I got the six lane running right, and the, the traffic up ahead running okay? This. This ended up being a traffic problem. With lights or without lights? Seeing that this is the priority road, they're gonna take whatever lane they want right off the, right in, in the middle of the intersection. The ones on the left here, and the right lane, they'll go to their sp perspective lanes and lane change either way. Like the right would lane change left, and the left would lane change right. Right? So, what they would end up doing is pinching the, the priority traffic, like constant collisions. And those little pileups would add, would add up, right? So before you knew it, the traffic would be backlogged all the way out to the highway, right? So even when you used traffic lights here, for the most part, that seemed like a bad idea too, because most of the times it wasn't needed. The only time it was ever really needed was when on import day, right? I would get imports, or when I get imports, I get imports f from the highway and from my terminal. And they seem to come in at the same time. Four trains and a whole bunch of trucks. And that priority road would be so dense that any traffic from the right lane or the left lane, whenever they would come in, they would start pinching in and stopping the traffic. I may have gone a little bit too far on the repair, but it worked and it's a vanilla rule. I like that. Anyways, 
Ciao for now. Have fun. <laughs>